Did you write because you like the fun of doing a horror story or because you wanted to convey ideas about racism? It, it began as the fun of a horror story. I wanted to, I wanted, it's my favorite genre. I wanted to have fun while writing. Um, and it turned, you know, in the middle of the process, it turned into something more important. The power of story is that it is one of the few ways we can really feel empathy and encourage empathy. Built into the idea of story is the idea that you have a protagonist. And when you have a protagonist, the whole trick that all of us are trying to do is bring the audience into that protagonist's eyes, behind their eyes. And so this is, you know, a, a well-crafted story and, a, and a, a good story is one of the few ways we can really not tell somebody you have to feel for somebody else, but make somebody feel because they're, they're experiencing it through entertainment. Sir, can I see your license, please? Wait, why? Yeah, I have state ID. No, 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 he wasn't driving. I didn't ask who was driving, I asked to see his ID. Yeah, why? That doesn't make any sense. Here. You don't have to give him your ID because you haven't done anything wrong. Maybe, baby, it's okay, come on. Anytime there is an incident, we have every right to That's ask. Cool. Ma'am, the... I was worried at several stages during the writing of, of the movie that this would be this horribly divisive project where, you know, I thought, I thought may, maybe I'd lose black people because it's, you know, we're victims in the movie and that's hard to watch, that's not fun. Maybe I'd lose white people because white people are the villains in the movie and that would be an assault, that would be. And so, but I, I, I stuck with it and one of the, you know, just the most um, fulfilling and validating things to see was how an audience, you know, would sort of go in, you know, with their different preconceived notions of what the film were, but by the middle, they were all Chris. They were all the main character. Um, and that's kind of the... It's a really good horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious. Is it tr I had heard that there was a time in your writing process when the police car showed up and it was the police and it was the bad ending that we uh, all, all feared. Is, is, yeah. is that true? So that's true. I wrote the movie primarily during the post-racial lie. So the Obama era, when everyone was saying, hey, we're past racism, mm. right? We did it. We did it. <laughs> um, and the, the, the notion of sort of bringing up racism was almost thought of as like the perpetuating it. Mm -hmm. And so the movie was originally meant to be a more direct, brutal wake-up call to say, no, the, the, the horror movie, guess what? The horror movie with a black protagonist, the cops showing up at the end, is a different, that's, that's a different thing. And it became very clear by showing people the movie that they, want, they needed a hero. Mm -hmm. they, needed, mm -hmm. they needed an, uh, the movie to be an escape. What I love about the current ending is that moment you're talking about where the, the police show up, the audience does all the work mm -hmm. of the original ending. And then I, so it's have my cake and eat it too. Yeah, you really do. That's exactly right. I'd like each of you to name one screenplay that has particularly influenced you or stuck out for you. You know, I want to go back to the Stepford Wives <laughs> and, uh, and uh, Rosemary's Baby as well, mm. both, both mm. Ira Levin Lord. stories. And um, yeah. for me, the, those, those movies were both extremely inspiring because what they did within the thriller genre was this very delicate tightrope walk um, that sort of honored the protagonist in a way that you, you rarely see in, in, in the genre um, these days. And um, I guess what I mean is they, the, the, the characters in that movie, the protagonists are, are smart and they're investigative and they're on the trail and there's never a point that every step into weird town that mm. those movies makes, it doesn't equal, um, there's an equal effort to justify why the character doesn't run screaming. Mm. 
And that, to me, is that, that, that sort of dance between showing something weird and over the top and then showing how easily it can be placed with how weird reality is mm. um, was that's, you know, that's the technique I, I, I brought to get out. Ready? Okay, quiet on set. Mm. And okay. I look down the lens. Yeah. Let's do it. Hi, my name is Darren Aronofsky. I'm Mara Sorkin. Emma Stone. Alice and Janney. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching The Hollywood Reporter. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter on YouTube.